Hey guys, it's Emma here with Sleep Advisor, where we help you learn the ins and outs of buying a mattress. Head on over to the website and you'll find in-depth articles on different mattress brands, materials, comfort ratings, and more. But for now, why not dive into a broad overview of the entire mattress shopping process, from research to point of sale. Ready? Let's go. So, you need a new mattress. Easy fix, right? Just buy a mattress and go to sleep. Well, it's not as simple as it looks. While you could cuddle up on any semi-soft surface and head to snooze town, you'll really want to make sure to keep the features and specifics of your mattress in mind, from sleeping position to edge support. And there's no better place to start than the type of mattress itself. You probably know what an inner spring mattress is. It's been the traditional mattress type since we were kids. Inner spring are exactly what they sound like. A mattress containing metal springs inside to provide support to the spine and body as you sleep. These types tend to have the most bounce and edge support and tend to sleep cool thanks to the airflow provided by the springs. They are also a good choice for sleepers who need more weight support. Over the past decade or so, memory foam and latex beds have exploded the bed in a box market in a big way. Well, they actually kind of fluff up slowly, <laughs> but you get the point. These types of mattresses will offer a huge variety of features and cater to many different sleep needs, much of which comes down to the construction and material type. Sleepers typically slowly sink into traditional memory foam mattresses, and the thick, dense foam is usually great to mitigate motion transfer, helping couples to keep from waking each other up as easily. Temperatures can vary depending on the type of foam used and if cooling gels are infused into the foam. Latex mattresses are known to be cooler and bouncier, so you'll sleep more on top of the mattress than be cradled into it. Finally, there are hybrid mattresses, which include springs for airflow and support, along with layers of latex or memory foam. Whew, okay, that's a lot, we've barely scratched the surface. But don't worry, we'll take a breather with an easier subject now. Let's talk about mattress sizes. At some point, just about everyone has slept on a twin mattress, so you're probably already familiar with the space these beds provide. These beds measure 38 inches wide and 75 inches long, and typically are best for children and teens, though some adults who don't mind a smaller sleeping space can make use of a twin mattress too. If you happen to be on the taller side, no worries. The Twin XL offers an extra five inches in length. The next step up from a twin size mattress is the Full, which offers a little bit more space to roll around, with 54 inches of width and 75 inches of length. Adults who require more room will want a full rather than a twin size, and couples who are tight on space could consider this as an option too. Full XL mattresses are also available, coming at 80 inches long. Then of course, you have the queen-sized mattress, possibly the most popular size for adults and couples due to its extra space. These beds measure in at 60 inches wide and 80 inches long. King-sized mattresses are where it's at if you want to get the most space out of your sleep surface, with 76 inches of width and 80 inches of length. And if you're really looking for a bed to fit the tallest of your family members, a California King offers 72 inches in width and a whopping 84 inches in length. Okay, so now you know what size of mattress you need and you know what the different types are. But there's still so much to navigate before you can find the perfect place to lay your head. Here's a question you already know the answer to. What's your favorite sleeping position? You'll want to tailor your sleeping experience to your preferred position, so it helps to know which types of beds are designed for side, back, stomach, or combination sleepers. If you're a side sleeper, you probably know what it's like to wake up with hip and shoulder pain thanks to pushback from a too firm mattress. It's no fun. 
If this is you, try a softer bed with more give and sink to get some of that sweet, sweet pressure relief. Back sleepers vary in their preference to sleep on top or nestled into the bed. But either way, you're gonna want a mattress with adequate support that allows your spine to remain neutral. Medium firm to firm beds can be a good option for this. Now stomach sleepers want to make sure they are very well supported with little to no sinking feeling and firm comfort level so their backs don't bow during the night. Combination sleepers will need to keep all of this in mind. So a medium firmness and hybrid option may be the best way to go here so all of your bases are covered. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty folks. It's time to talk mattress features. This is where you'll really get to customize your mattress, not just to your weight, height, and sleeping position, but to your comfort preferences too. As I mentioned before, the material of your mattress can affect a lot of the features your bed provides. But thanks to ever-evolving mattress technology, different mattress types can offer all kinds of cool features they weren't able to offer before. Check for reinforced edge support in your latex or memory foam mattress so you can roll right up to the sides of your bed without fear of falling off. Foam wrapped inner spring coils can dampen motion transfer, making these supportive mattresses easier for couples to use, while cooling gel can keep memory foam from heating up too much. Cradling, pressure relief, ease of repositioning, and lumbar support are all important especially when it comes to sleep position. Make sure to read up on the mattress's features to see whether it offers reinforced support at the shoulders or lumbar area, or if the sleeper is intended to sink and become gently cradled by the bed. You can also research the washability, cooling features, and whether your mattress will need to be periodically rotated or flipped before making your decision. It's a lot to keep in mind, but armed with this guide and the knowledge you've already gained about mattress shopping, I know you've got this. We're almost there. Now that you know all that there is to know about the makeup of your potential new bed, you're probably wondering what this means for your wallet. Well, that does depend on the size, materials, and features you're looking for. So at least you can keep some key dates in mind when shopping for your new mattress. Wait for a holiday if you can, so you can take advantage of deep discounts and cool coupons that can significantly lower the cost of your new bed. Many mattress retailers host sales on Black Friday, Memorial Day, Labor Day, and President's Day. You can also take advantage of industry trends and your newly received tax return and hit up a mattress store during the month of May, when older models are often sold at reduced prices to make room for incoming new mattress models. Whew, we did it. We know what you need to buy and when you need to buy it. Ah, go us. Now all that's left to do is to decide how you want to make that purchase. There are two ways to purchase a new mattress in-store or online. I'll walk you through both options so you can decide which is right for you. Let's start with in-store first. The obvious upside of the brick and mortar store is that you will actually be able to interact with and feel the mattress before making your purchase. Sit on it, lay on it, bounce on it. You can't do that when you're online shopping. Thankfully, many online retailers offer a trial period anywhere from one month to one year, so you can really learn how well your new mattress actually suits your sleep needs. Another advantage of shopping in-store is that you will be able to bring home your new bed immediately, and in most cases, will be able to start sleeping on it right away, whereas ordering a mattress online will require you to wait for delivery. If you purchase a bed in a box option, you'll also need to wait for your mattress to plump up before giving it a whirl. If you're still feeling a little overwhelmed about all of your options, don't worry. Grab a retail associate for help if you're shopping in store. Now online shoppers, you're not alone either. Many websites offer chat services so you can get your questions answered and find the support you need to make the right choice. Last but not least, make sure to read up on your mattress's warranty and return policy before purchasing your new bed. 
This is a big decision. You'll be spending a third of your life on this thing. You'll need to know what your options are in case something goes wrong with your new bed. Are you ready? I think you're ready to get out there and make your new mattress dreams come true. But if you're still looking for more information, head on over to Sleep Advisor and check out our guides for different sleep needs and in-depth articles for a wide range of mattress brands. Happy shopping and even happier sleeping.